So, uh, we shall be doing the for, uh, forecasting today. Forecasting and uh, yeah. So, th that is our topic forecasting. Uh, so, meaning that the forecasting forecasting of a dependent of, of a dependent variable which is y okay that we shall be doing today and uh, and uh, and we have two independent variables such as y and z and and uh, so we shall forecast y which is the dependent variable of the re regression model we shall forecast y uh, and then afterwards 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 we will compare compare forecasted y with actual y afterwards we we'll compare forecasted y with actual y and if the gap between actual y and forecasted y is small it means that it means that uh, the it means that the estimated model has estimated regression model has good predictive power so we can accept the we can accept the estimated regression model for predictive purposes or other purposes or other purposes okay and uh, and what is forecasting forecasting error what is forecasting error the gap between actual y and forecasted y is called for casting error what is forecasting error the gap between actual y and forecasted y so and smaller this 
for casted error better the model so that is the guideline smaller the forecasting error better the model that is the guideline all the time and here we can see we have the three variable x y and z and we have the data from 1980 to 2000 right we can see data yearly data and we have 21 years data so our data is from 1980 to 2000 okay meaning that 21 years data so out of out of this we shall use uh, we shall use uh, data from 1980 to uh, 1980 to 1990 for estimated for estimating regression line out of this we shall use data from 1980 to 1990 for estimating regression line right that we shall do and the rest from 1991 to 2000 we shall use data for forecasting okay here all data are known all data are known so the forecasting model is called is called x post x post forecasting model because all data are known so we call it ex post forecasting model so that is the normal guideline when the data are known we call it ex post right and when the data are not known we call it ex nt ex nt forecasting when the data is not known we call it x and t right x and t period right x and t period of period of forecasting right but today oh, today we shall be doing x post uh, data that means uh, ex post period right meaning that all data are known uh, okay so that is the things and here we can see we have the three variables x y z and y is the dependent so I am opening all the variables one by one open as a group you can see the data time series data from 1980 until 2000 right this is the data for uh, I, I think 21 years data from from 1980 until 
2000. Okay, now from this data, I shall be estimating our re re regression model. Okay, so how to estimate the model? I go to quick estimate equation. I put y, c, x, z, and y lag 1. So suppose this model is a dynamic model because y has become y lag 1. So this type of model is called dynamic model or auto regressive model meaning that y is y is dependent at the same time lag of one lag of y independent so this type of model is called dynamic model or auto regressive model and the data we have taken from uh, data from 1980 until 1990 right that we have planned right so this is the data and this is the least squared method right we shall be using to estimate the our model right 